Hello and welcome back to my channel, to Athena, where today I am reviewing Slayer Repentless by Dark Horse Comics. This comic has really weirded me out because I read the comic but then didn't really get it, so I reviewed it and then I found out that it made a bit more sense. Basically, this comic is a mini series of three issues and it is made to reflect stories based on what I assume is Slayer music videos. The article wasn't the most clearest in that, but I, I think that's what it's about. That makes a bit more sense to me. And the reason why this makes more sense to me is that I feel like the story completely was written on fast forward. Each panel seems to skip an hour, a day, a year, never mind just like the next sequence that's meant to happen. It rushes through the story in such an extreme way that you must already have an idea in your head what they're talking about. And that's why I think, oh, that makes sense that it's based on a music video. Because if you've watched their music videos, then you'd understand watching these scenes and sequences in this comic because it races through years worth of plot and so many plot points like so much happens in 26 pages it's ridiculous it's definitely full of value for money in the comic but it was full of so much action and so much narrative that I was quickly getting lost I could go from one panel to another and be like I've obviously missed something you know I knew I couldn't have because it was the next panel but that's how much it kept jumping and sometimes it just didn't make sense to me I was really intrigued by this because when I first flicked through it I saw the swastika symbol and I was like this is about Nazis and I have a real fascination with things like fascism and Nazis especially when it was in World War II with the Nazis and the Holocaust and I have many many books history books on it and so I was kind of excited that it'd be touching on a, a topic that I have a personal interest in anyway but it's not like that it's about modern day Nazi uh, Nazism and racism which is you know equally a horrible thing to talk about and it's an important thing to talk about uh, I will warn you now it's graphic, it's gross. If you don't like gore, don't read this comic. <laughs> Although I like the art, I like the colour, I like the structure, I like the grittiness. The grittiness and the roughness of the sketch is sometimes too rough and it's very 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 hard to realise which character is which. It starts off with two young boys and then all of a sudden it skips a panel and it doesn't very clearly show who they are and you have to kind of guess. Like there's two boys and then there's three men in the next panel and you know by the art that the, the artist has made it clear that this is a time jump, this is two young boys and this is them grown up. But because there's three men in it, you can't tell which one's which. I constantly had to look back and compare and go, oh, does he have the right hair? Does that have the right look? It wasn't very clear at all who was who. And that is a massive pet hate of mine in comics because it's all visual. Obviously, you've got your prose and your narratives and stuff like that, but comics are very visual. And if you can't get the main character's look to be consistent, then you're you're not doing a good job. And that's like probably the harshest thing I've ever said. And I, I feel really bad now, but it's true. You know, that's my biggest pet peeve if you can't have the protagonist to be clearly identified from all the other characters around you I feel like that's wrong I feel like that should be like artist 101 when making a comic and I don't make comics I don't draw comics I don't know I can't be doing lessons on what you do and what you don't do but you should at least make your protagonist identifiable instantly I know it's a music video but honestly the story is actually so awesome it would make a great movie it's a very vengeful story it's a gory story it touches on a lot of paths and life decisions that we all make and can we change them? And I really like that. It's only a mini series of three issues, so I actually think I'm gonna pick up all three to see the full story or to see where it finishes. Yeah, I'm really excited by it, to be honest. I have my beefs with this comic, but I still enjoyed it. And I think I enjoy allowed myself to enjoy it a lot more when I realized it was based off something else. So I was like, ah, that's why they're jumping a lot because maybe you're meant to already know. And uh, you know, it's good, it's good, I like it. And I love my variant cover. I didn't realize it was the variant cover, but it's Eric Powell who did The Goon and the actual original cover is awesome as well but uh, it's gory and it's gross and I love it. Well, thank you so much for watching this review. What do you think? This actually, I think, came out in America a lot earlier or I saw articles saying it was gonna be released in July, but then I saw articles saying it's released in January, so I don't know if it was pushed back or the UK only got it now, but either way, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and comment because it really does help out my video. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe because I do geeky videos every day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.